the following match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Boston, Massachusetts, this is Mike Bennett. This is gonna be an exciting rematch from something we saw years ago when Nick Aldis was the champion back in Los Angeles. Mike Bennett had a chance at the 10 pounds of gold, came up short, but you know he hasn't forgotten about what happened that night in LA. And his opponent, from Kingsland, England, he is the national treasure, Nick Aldis! Ready for a fight, ready to compete, and WPC, I gotta talk to you. The long relationship with Nick Aldis, he's still in the hunt for the 10 pounds of gold. Yeah, but let me start here real quick. I have a long relationship with Mike Bennett. Ah, yes. I've known his wife for a long time, and when Nick and I were talking about matchups, and he wanted quality opponents, I said, what about going back to Mike Bennett? Mike Bennett has proven a lot to me and to the world in the last couple of years. This is a tremendous opportunity for Mike. I'm not rooting against Nick. Oh, I just he was looking to start matchup. things off hot. He was looking to start things off hot and made a major mistake and went face first oh, yeah, into that middle turnbuckle. You know, Nick wants to make a real statement to Cardona. As he should. Kevin Keenan's asking him, are you able to compete? I mean, he hit his head pretty hard on that turnbuckle. He's, he's I mean, obviously he, he seeing stars. Came in we're like we're a right on the edge here of just stopping this right here. Okay, yeah, Keenan says he I can trust, fight. I trust Keenan. Oh! The Janoku driver could be enough. What a decisive victory that would be. Two count on Bennett. Yeah. One half of the OGK. I would roll out if I was Bennett, too. You know, I take a lot of heat sometimes for what goes on in the spring, but I trust our referees implicitly. They're absolute professionals, and they are eyes and ears in there. The best in the business, as are our wrestlers. They call this, looking for something big. Mike Bennett had a telegraph, kick to the chest. And all this delightful clothesline, sliding in immediately. Lateral press, kick out by Bennett. I don't think I've ever seen a more focused Nick Aldis in the NWA, oh, this which is, is hard to say, yes. right? Three years as champion, multiple reigns. He is laser focused right now. Especially as of lately, yes. Into the cover again, two count. Well, as I've said a few times on other things, I gotta hear it every single day. I want this, I want that, I need this, I need that. So trust me, I'm inside his head more than I want to be. Doesn't that get exhausting sometimes? It does, but you know what? This man rebuilt this company. You're up. Yes, you sure I did. bought it, but Nick Aldis rebuilt it. And we have to be forever mindful of that. So he gets the benefit of the doubt in a lot of ways. Mike Bennett came crashing down hard on that shoulder, onto his neck. All this now into the cover, inside leg hook, Only kick out. Count. But that takes nothing away from Bennett. This is what I'm saying. Bennett is a world-class opponent. So credit to Nick for wanting a world-class opponent, and credit to Bennett for wanting it. He wants it so bad. Normally we see Bennett with Matt Taven as part of the OGK, once again, going at it alone, going solo, which Bennett has done throughout his career. No stranger to singles competition, no stranger to being a world champion. And now he's pumping the brakes. Bennett trying to fight him off here. Headbutt to all this. Look at that. Locking up the arm. Locked in the submission. He can't win the match. That's the, that's the experience, right? That's the experience of a Mike Bennett. Forced to break because of the count. And Bennett is now on the apron. Oh, using the top rod. That'll dislocate your shoulder. That's that experience. A lot of guys try to brawl with Nick because of his, you know, because they think they can take him on size for size. Bennett, tactician. Oh, yeah. This is why this is a great matchup. And the power. And the power. Oh, yeah. So physically impressive. Mike Bennett. Still, like, taking it to Aldis, and he still seems like he's a little woozy. Not missing a beat. Bennett has picked a target as the left arm, putting pressure on that arm for the pin. When this matchup came up as a possibility, I went to Taven and I said, are you guys still a team? He's like, oh, he has my absolute support. I love my, I love my partner. I want this. Baseball slide again, targeting the left arm. Bennett knows exactly what he's doing to all this here. Let's go, hey. 
Get him inside! Let's I go! Get you! Get him out! Bennett's got him lined up, perhaps oh, looking for that spear. Wasting no looking time. for that big spear. And oh. all this saw it come and answered with a big knee. Scouted. Absolutely scouted. Nick studies so much tape, it's scary. Plus, they've been there before. He's fighting through the pain, but maybe too much damage has been done to that arm. Yes! Brain buster! Brain buster! Bennett! Could be looking at a taste of redemption. No, a kick out by all. Oh, you can see Nick writhing in pain now. The damage has been done to that left arm. But that right arm's but, still good. But that right arm's still good. Yes. Bennett, I think he's still feeling the effects of going head first in that yes. turnbuckle at the beginning of the match. Exactly. What, yes, he definitely is. I Close line by Nick Aldis. Falls with the back elbow. You can see how he's still favoring the left arm. Flying back elbow, but he came down hard on the left arm again. He's, 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 he's buying time, which good strategy. Mike Bennett is such a... Crafty submission specialist as well. We forget sometimes at home the damage these guys do. When you see them down like that, puffing and puffing, that's a lot of damage in a few minutes. It is. And now, once again, just what I was saying before. Right back on the already injured left arm of Nick Aldis. The pain he was in and the pain he continues to suffer at the hands of Mike Bennett. Aldis has to try to reach out. He's got to get to that bottom rope. But instead, no. The dealer's looking the power out of this, and Mike Bennett felt it coming, and he wants to put the national treasure to sleep. He's got all this on the, he's on all this back. All this gets that separation. Oh yeah, he's hurting. Both men just. That's what we like to see in the NWA. Give it your all. Every match matters. Big spear! Oh my Big spear! Gosh, could this this is be it! Hook in the inside leg! Big oh, land by Bennett! Oh my goodness! Jesus. He was right there, and Bennett is frustrated at that. That's one of his biggest moves. The biggest bomb in his arsenal. All this looking right back. Rolling forearm. All this still on his feet. Bennett perhaps looking for a pile driver. Nick's trying so hard to counter, and he does. Picks the leg. Oh, we've we see seen Kingsland. this before. Looking for the clover leaf, but he can't. But he can't because of his arm. That left arm, too much damage has been done. Oh, he's got it trapped. He's got the fingers. Bennett's transition. Bennett's experience here. Trapping the yeah. right here. Nice draw into the two count. Bennett's a veteran of a lot of wars. It's not really easy to wrestle with only one arm. Sunset flip. All this rolls through. He's got the legs again. He's going for it again. Can he and he's it got in? it. He's, he's got to fight through the pain. He's got to fight through the pain. So Who's going to get him first? Who's going to yield first? Oh Bennett's center of the ring. He's fucked out. He taps out. He ta the winner of this match, Nick. Great match. You know, Great match. That could have been anybody's ball game. Matt, or Mike Bennett could have tapped out, or Nick could have released the hold due to the damage on his arm, but he was able to hold on. He is one tough cookie, that Aldis. Great match. Yeah.